Hey everyone, it's Ashley Spear with MLM Rebels, and today I want to talk to you about Terry Savelle Foy, who is an author and a speaker. And one of the things that she talks about at length is decluttering your life and how decluttering your life is a foundation for success and that the way we do one thing is the way we do everything. She gives an example of our military and how when our military goes out to, before they can go out to train for combat, they literally have to go through extensive training and bed making. And it's like, what is, why is that relevant? Why are they worried about their bed when we're like going out and saving our country? And the reason that they have to do that is because it creates a standard of excellence. And if our military and our military people are sloppy in making their bed, what do we expect when they're out on the battlefield? You know, it could be that they're gonna be sloppy in loading their gun or sloppy in helping protect that person next to them. And so, it's this whole concept of like decluttering your life. If your car is a mess, it's impacting other areas of your life. If your house is a mess, it's impacting other areas of your life. The one thing that Zach and I do every single morning is we get up and we make our bed, kind of like the military. But why do we do this? We do it because it makes our room look good. Like it, it increases the appearance of our room immediately. And it gives us a small win that we have under our belt right after we get up. And it gives us that small win and it creates, it creates discipline. We recently sold a condo and when we had that condo staged for showing to, to sell it, if you know anything about that process, you're very familiar that you're literally like taking all of your clutter, all your crap, and you're hiding it like in storage somewhere else. So all you have left is your beautiful furniture and a few lamps and accessories and pillows and plants. And it's, it's actually a really cool process. And during that time when we would come home and I would walk into the door after work, I remember just feeling like this weight lifted off of me because we were coming into this beautiful home that was clean, that didn't have excess stuff all over the place that I was probably not like directly worried about and directly thinking, I'm gonna go take care of that stack of papers right now, but subconsciously it was on my mind. And when we declutter our life, when our car is a mess and we take care of it, and when our house is a mess and we take care of it, and when our relationships are a mess and we take care of it, we're taking away the clutter and the pressure and the noise, as Alex Charfin would refer to it. We're removing that pressure, we're removing that noise, so we can focus on the things that we really need to focus on, so that our consciousness can be where it needs to be, so we can think about our business in the right way. So. If you're in a place right now and everything seems cluttered and, and out of chaos, like, you know, don't be down on yourself and don't feel like I can't do anything because my car is messy. I can't do anything because my house is messy. Like, that's not the point I'm trying to make. Our bedroom is not clean all the time. We have laundry on the bed right now that still needs to be folded from this morning. It's okay, life's gonna go on. But, you know, before you go out and work on your business, just take a half an hour to declutter your car or declutter your house before you start working on your business and then go work on your business with like this clear mind and this sense of accomplishment and see how much pressure and noise begins to be relieved and what a standard of excellence you start building not only in your personal life but in your business as well. So everyone, I hope this business or this message and this uh, conversation is empowering and it leads you to go on and do great things and to clutter your life and feel great. And if you're not yet a part of our community, click on the link below. Uh, we would love to see you there. We would love to be friends. We would love to have a conversation and just hear about your journey, hear about what's going on and uh, become an MLM rebel.